Vivek Ramaswamy joins me now. He is the author of a great book. He's just given me a free copy of it. It's called Woke Inc. And he's on the show as of now with me here in New York City. Vivek, welcome to the show. Thanks, Stuart. Good to be here. What do you make of a woke city? I, I kind of think of it as kind of a joke. Yeah, you? it's a woke joke. You could say that <laughs> you know, for sure. So, look, I would say that I have built a multi-billion dollar company. I'm familiar with a lot of even young billionaires, know a lot of them. I think they're lost. They're fundamentally lost. Once they've made their first set of achievement in the private sector, they want to have an impact. They don't know how to have an impact. And they do silly, trivial things like this. Sure. I think instead of creating one city where we have equity of outcomes, how about investing in creating a country where we actually have true equality of opportunity? That's actually the harder work that we need to do as a country. And instead, this is a form of escapism, leaving the problems that we actually face as a country to create these microcosms of Marxist equity that, of course, aren't going to fail. I think it's probably not even going to get off the ground, mm -hmm. but are simply vanity projects for self-indulgence of billionaires that don't really take on tackling the real problems that we need to solve as Americans. Are you a billionaire entrepreneur? You know, I'm, 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 I'm up, up there. there. I'm up there, but I, I, you know, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I've, your, done, I've done all right. What's your right. company? What, how do you make your money? Yeah, so look, I started a biotech company. I built a biotech company from scratch. I was a biotech investor for years. And then I left my career as an investor to start a biotech company that effectively fixed a lot of the but, major issues in big pharma that I saw as an investor. So but that's you're what not I did a seven pie in the sky dreamer. No, I think it's got, you got to be really practical about things. At the end of the day, providing products that people really need and selling them for the pursuit of profit, that is what capitalism is built around. And as Milton Friedman said 50 years ago, the social purpose of a corporation is to pursue profit through the sale of products because that lifts everybody up in the process. And one of my main issues, Stuart, is not just the way in which politics infects the private sector in a way that stops companies from doing that. It's also the ways in which these billionaires and also the companies themselves are now trying to actually co-opt the role of democracy by imposing their vision of yeah. how we solve our problems onto everyone else. I came to America and enjoyed the American dream. I, I did okay. Thank you very much indeed. Do you think that the sa this is still the same country that I came to 50 odd years ago? Is it still a place where the American dream can be fulfilled? I think it can be with the right attitude change going forward. But it's right being chipped change. away at the moment. It is. I mean, the American dream is the idea that no matter who you are or where you came from right. or what your skin color is, you can achieve anything you want in this country with your own hard work, your own commitment, and your own dedication. And I think the problem with woke culture is that we woke up from that dream. And once you wake up from a dream, you forget what it was all about. That is the stage we're in now. I think we still remember what that dream felt like. The key for the next decade is to really restore it. Do you have any comment on the State Department voicing concern that the Afghan government is all male? <laughs> well, look, I have a lot of concerns tongue, about... Tongue-in-cheek question. You know? I have a lot of concerns about the Afghan government. I don't think the gender diversity is exactly at the top of the list. My concerns do include the fact that they have known terrorists staffing the top sure. levels of the government. Haqqani, the head of the Haqqani network, is staffing the interior ministry position right now. Four terrorists that were released from Guantanamo as a part of a prisoner exchange brokered by Obama are in top positions in the government. That's the real problem, not the lack of gender diversity. When are you going to get into politics and run for office? Well, I don't know about that. I'm writing a book right now. I'm writing it out. And, uh, <laughs> and, and hopefully I'm looking to get the message. In all candor, Stuart, I care about the message in that book. I wrote it because somebody needed to lift this scam for what it was in the private sector in this country. I'm not writing as a journalist. I've been on the inside. I've seen how that game is played. And I think once the American people see it with clear eyes, that's the first step towards a solution. Woke Inc. Uh, on the Amazon bestseller list, if I'm not mistaken. The New York Times. If, if oh, I'm excuse not. me. The New York <laughs> but Times. But thank you. Thank you. Vivek Ramaswamy. Thanks very much, sir. Thank you, Appreciate Stuart. It. Good, Good to see you.